Probably this your boy Mike Powers. We back. We all wearing the same clothes. We taping multiple shits in the same day because we all talk too goddamn much. How about that? The whole first show, nobody mentioned. The show before this, nobody mentioned. The drip. Y'all see this? Do y'all do you know I want to ask about it today? We not talk about what? The do you like it? Do you like it? I love it. Nigga, you drip it. You drip the ladies. Everybody. What? I said you drippy. You drippy every day, though. You know what this is? What's that? Nigga, I can't see so small square. Watch I this. Zoom. I'm going to edit this part out. Tell me you can see. I was going to say, do you want to redo the first part? Oh, Wait shit. Wait a minute. Is that a fuck? Where are his lugs? Print, print where, are lugs? Wait, 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 where are the lugs? Wait, wait, wait. Where are the lugs? Does, 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 does this the wallabies? Say, does this say FUBU on your back, nigga? For... <laughs> It Ooh, don't food. not say FUBU on my back. What does it say on your back then? It says FUBU. Homie. I can't rep these pioneering African-American men that started this t-shirt company out of their garage. And look, I put it on because it was, listen, I moved. Listen, listen, listen. 1995 called. They want their shirt back. But, Whoa. but, <laughs> but. He <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was I was moving and I got all these these clothes that was just tucked away and I'm starting to unpack when I come over here and I'm like yo maybe not for the streets maybe I, maybe I can't get outside the house really and go shopping with this but for this show I figured listen and like Bean said the motherfucker look good on me so what difference do it make if it say FUBU on the back I, I was just asking Hey, East Side. You see me? I just it's still fresh. It. It's it's vintage shit. As you usually was. Hey, hey Deuce. Sack Deuce, my neck. Deuce gonna back me up on this. That. That's hilarious. Deuce gonna back me up on this. Beans gonna back me up on this. In LA, they got mad fucking uh, secondhand thrift shops. Boom. Deuce, you know all about this. Uh, the the old retro. Go get the old fucking t shirt. The Bruce Springsteen shirt from Born to Run tour. You know about that. Why, nigga? Why do you have to watch? Don't tag me in. I'm defensive, Arnold. Am I too defensive? <laughs> I'm too de <sighs> you know what? Because French, because French gonna always find a way to just tick your self esteem and. <laughs> Great T-shirt. Don't worry about French telling you why. <laughs> I know, and that's usually French's advice. Don't worry about what other people think. That's what French no, usually tell me. Don't. I don't right. Care but you hating on the you hating on the fubu. Shout the Fubu, shout the Damon John, and the other three niggas who name I don't know because they didn't get, get on Shark Tank. Um, look, um, hey, uh, Big Daddy Kane KRS One is gonna have a versus battle. I should have the date here written down. I don't. October seventeenth. Thank you, friend. Oh my beans. They gonna get. He just came with. through real quick. French just did a year's worth of work right there because that's all we gonna get from this nigga. Okay, right now he done. <laughs> he done. No more research. No, he don't got a nary paper, nothing. He <laughs> Listen, French hat say Harlem. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Real talk though. Real talk. Uh um, hey. Um before we get to that, I want to do trivia. Uh Beans versus French. I'm going off script. Before we get the big guy, he can't care as one. I just want to do trivia, right? Cause Niggas got to have knowledge about what's going on in the space. And I think it'll be fun for the audience. Beans versus French, though, right? So let's just do this real quick. So either one of y'all, first one of y'all that have the answer to these questions, you jump right in and you get a point. Um, I don't know what the prize is going to be, but we'll talk about that later. All right. So let me ask this. First question, jump in as soon as you know the answer. Um... What year did Boston Red Sox last win the World Series? 2018. She is correct. Okay. That was an unfair question, man. Okay. Let me ask you a question. No, actually, anybody, anybody can jump in. When did Beans first get mentioned on this platform? Edo interview. I think 2020. Two and zero. You whooping his ass right now. Okay, okay Beans. So now, um, <laughs> DJ B's middle name. Gene. G Woo! Okay. French, 
I'm gonna give you one more chance, French. Is this, is this, did he smoke? Did, look. Um. Oh, Bees had an album called uh, Four. It's called Deadly Venoms. What's the fourth song on that album? Anybody? Ty Ferris, Shower in the Slumps, produced. Yo, Bees won the first ever Mike Powers Reloaded trivia show. French, you're garbage, apparently. Uh, <laughs> go beanie hey. go beanie hey. hey hey and i was all worried i didn't have my coffee today oh my god you was you I mean, you nailed he that asked you your middle fucking name b french you what don't you? know me i don't know your middle fucking name wow yeah, french spent, like the whole like last month around me you didn't get my middle name oh my god right no. you ain't trying to get to know me what kind of brother no, are you Jean. i didn't know your middle name was Jean. Well, you do now. Okay, Jean Grey. Whatever it is, nigga, you lost. Um, okay. Hey. Oh, time out, time out, nigga. You mm -hmm. asked her everything about her. The fuck <laughs> out of here. So you should be, you should know me by now. How many Zoom calls have we had? You don't know Listen, me. Let's go there. Let's do this. Let's do this. First let's do this. Of, first of all, I'm a pothead. Second of all, me too. I don't remember all that shit. Okay, let's do real trivia. Let's do let's do let's do something else. All right, <laughs> Nick Cannon, who got who has a new daytime talk show, said this group from Queens influenced his career. Who is Mob Deep? Okay. <laughs> would you say of uh, uh? Would you say uh? uh you're wrong, French and uh, Deuce. You said CQ, Tribe Called Quest. Mm -mm. Beans. I have no idea. I don't know. Shit the about answer the is Kid and Play. Oh, <laughs> you can Google all this. Um, <clears throat> who won album of the year at the otherwise garbage 2021 BET Hip Hop Awards? Album Tyler. of the year. I don't watch that shit. Deuce. Tyler. Yes, Tyler Little the J. Creator Cole? is correct. Oh, good. Yeah, Yay. that's the only good thing that happened during that show, I think. Good, um, we deserve that. This 1985 that? black karate flick had everybody wearing karate shoes to school in the 80s. Into the dragon. What? Into the dragon. This black karate flick. Last black dragon. karate flick. Would you say Deuce? Last dragon. Last dragon is correct. Right? Yeah. Oh no. Who recently dropped a self-produced movie about his life that he got pissed that everyone was watching for free on YouTube? Not Dave Chappelle. Not, uh, who was it? Uh it's a rapper. Dave Chappelle. It's a rapper. No. Dropped a movie about his own life. Kanye. Boosie. Um, which one oh. of these is a main dish in the Virgin Islands? Multiple choice, French. Coconut drops, pepper pot soup, or fish and fungi? Fish and fungi. See. Fish. French is correct. And if he would have got, I would have had to fire him because he's from the Virgin Islands. I got it right too. I said it at the same time. I just said C instead of fish. Be beans, you can't have everything. Yes, I can. My mama said Ooh. I can have it all. Tell him. Reach for the stars. Reach for the what? Reach for the what? Stars. The stars. S stars. H S. Stars. Reach for the stars. Stars. You're damn right. All of them. And if you miss you're it, hit the boom, right? She said, she said, reach for all of them. All of them. All of no, them. No, I will say it's great to have bees on my show. That's what the I'm moon. honored to be here. Son. I'm honored to have you. And so Karis won Big Daddy Kane versus, I'm, I think I'm going to do the simulcast on my channel. Um, Who want to go first on this? Let's go. Let's go French. Let's go French. French ain't said uh, shit the whole time. All right. First, let me clear that up because I was quiet because I haven't heard uh, the West Side Gun album and I don't want to you know, speak without hearing it. Yeah. I've been so busy, you know, with the joint that dropped today, Delgado, the Lux ah. version, Flea Lord and Rock Marciano. I've been it's, busy with right, that. So it'll, it'll, this show will come out like a few days later, but yeah, it dropped on Friday. What? What's today? The 9th? The eighth. The eighth. Delgado Deluxe version. 
Right. Five extra joints, five extra songs. Entirely produced by Rock Marciano. Rock Marciano. Entirely mixed and mastered by Yours Truly. Frenchy Queen the Bee. <laughs> and uh the oh, features shit. on the features on on the on the deluxe. You got Etho, G4 Jag, TF, and Bun B. Now the pirate. And the original already had Conway Ransom Stove Guard. You know what I'm saying? So go run that deluxe up. This is out everywhere right now. The run that flea is on. Does he sleep? Is he sleeping? Because the boy, right? Like, look at all the names, right? Look at all the projects that's coming out. Look at the quality of the project. Listen, he moving a lot right now. And Lord Mob got a lot of artists coming through that's starting to make some noise right now. Is Am I, am I right about this, Tiana Denise? Is that correct? Right. Oh, I love her. Tiana is fire. She's one of my new favorites. And she's on the new West album. She's hey, on there. Jamil she's, next, she's, she's next on the chopping block, like, to, to be put out. Yeah, masking yeah. gloves. Like I'm, I'm, I'm mastering her shit as we speak. <laughs> like her a lot. I yeah. like her a lot. I like her a lot. Me too. Um, Me too. Why, so okay, now, shout to Fleet too. Shout to the mob. Listen, Dude, I got to DJ oh, for all them a couple weeks ago. It's a lot of lore mob on the screen right now. Um, listen. <laughs> I was hanging with Flea on the yacht the other day. I was chill. You was on a yacht with Flea? Yeah, we took pictures by the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, you mean you you always somewhere crazy, right? Um, before we this show about to be, <laughs> I'm letting the show get away from me. Big Daddy Kane, KRS One. <laughs> what do we think about the significance of this Frenchie? Hip hop been waiting for this battle for about thirty years. Mm. Okay, because mm -hmm. all growing up, I remember it was always it was it was either going to be Big Big Daddy Kane versus KRS. Or Karis versus Rakim, you know what I'm saying? But they, oh, I, I think the story goes they actually was gonna set something up for Karis and um, Kane to battle. It just never happened. And they, they, they're actually like real cool, like like cool people. Like they, they know each other like for years. I think Karis might have lived with Big Daddy Kane at one point in Brooklyn. Um, so, you know, memories, first of all, Big Daddy Kane, um, he did this thing, I'll never forget, <clears throat> and I got a bad memory, but when he says, um, I go to work like an architect, I build a rhyme sometimes, I climb soil, wrap skyscrapers, look like Adam's cars, electrons, rolling in patterns, writing out word after word with each letter, it becomes visibly better, because my foundation built a nation of rappers, and after I came on vacation, I came to Rome, the land I own. Listen. I go to work. Is that a Teddy Riley cut too? I go to work. I think Probably. it is. I think yeah. so. Yeah. And yo, but I mean, ain't no half stepping. Um, I we go on and on and on. Um, smooth operator, but then Karis one, which he gave us a lot of pride in ourselves. There's this guy with this big masculine voice telling you, get your ass educated and telling white folks. We are educated people, right? What he did for the self-esteem of black youth who was involved in hip hop, the image that he displayed, right? So important to the culture. And albums, you, you talk about um, Criminal Minded. Criminal Minded. Remember when that shit first dropped, bro? Yes, I do. Oh, man. I mean, I'm talking about- The and, 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 is changing. <laughs> right. Right. The beats, the way they did it, like it was incredible. So are we are we set to see, Beans, I'll ask you, do you think we are set to see performance like we did with uh Meth and Red? Are we gonna see Big Daddy Kane, Karis One, side to side? Listen, these guys is performers, end of the day. So we're not going, it's not going to be Bobby and Keith where they sitting, right? You think we're going to see some performances? I, I think it's going to be pure entertainment. I think this is going to be one of those ones that that follows up with basically uh, what the locks and dips did. I think it's so many people are going to just say, nah, Big Daddy Kane going to take it. And other people are going to, it's going to be super 
one-sided views, I feel like. And I think that this is going to end up blowing a lot of people's minds when things come back from the vaults. Um, and for me, I mean, I Got Next was an album that really got me deeply into hip hop. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm on, on this one, I can't even call it. So I think this is a great pairing. I think it's going to be a good one. I don't watch a lot of the verses. I don't. I pick and choose. And this is one I'm definitely going to be tuned into. Dope. Deuce? I'm looking forward to Beans is right. Like, this is, this is two New York legends. It's going to get petty. It's going to get aggressive. It's going to get fun and competitive. That's, that's what you know what I mean. And like, and their styles are real different. So it's going to be like, when K, if Kane come in, he busts a dance move. You know what I mean? KRS going to have to like freestyle. Like it's, it's going to be fun seeing them go back and forth. They probably got a lot of dope stories to tell. You know what I mean? A lot of hip hop history. That's going to be a part of the mix. Like I need all of that. So Man, listen, and, and, you know, I, I'm glad that they're going to get what's called the versus effect, where, like, all the music's about to get streamed more. They're going to get a lot more looks. You know what I'm saying? Like, they probably going to end up having a nice tour, a good run. Can we get a Big Daddy Kane Rome Streets collaboration? Wes can make Man. that happen. Spesh can make that happen. Listen, I, Rome Streets and Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Like, like, because let me tell you something about Rome. Don't go in thinking he's not about to just manhandle the cut. Like, you're not going to beat him on he's the cut. He's sharp. You're not going to beat him he's on the cut. He's sharp. Just, you're not going to beat him. Right? You could just be as good as him. That's the best you can hope for. <clears throat> but Rome ain't letting you go get out on him. That boy is, he's algebra. You know what I mean? Like, he's calculus. He's quantum physics on the mic. Um, I appreciate that. I forgot what I was going to say next. Oh, um, Rome was at the gallery. Shout out to Rome. Deuce, you got an album. We going that, and you we going right into that. You got an album coming out. Is that correct? Yeah. Because yeah. we just I'll, and this is on the other show that's in the vault. It's gonna come out. But you just did Acid. Acid is a great album. Thank you. Okay. Acid is a great album. And now you're coming out with another one with Jamal Gasol. What what what's the name of it? Oxtail. Oxtail. The significance. Um. Man, my brother Gasol will come visit me in Brooklyn, and he always wanted oxtail, and I take him to the best West Indian spots in the city, and just get right. You know, I'm I'm plant based and shit, but yeah, I mean, we just that was the bond, and then the project was just raw and dope and exquisite. You know, did you take him to that same spot that you drug me over there to in Brooklyn that had the Billy Goat feet? Yep, yep, yep. Took him there. <laughs> See. Yo, wait, 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 like what a... do you say? Billy <laughs> Goat Feet? <laughs> Is he talking about cow foot soup? <laughs> yo, French, he was there. He yeah, was, French yo, was... no, he didn't even want to go inside. He, he likes to stay outside and smoke a cigarette for that long. He's like, nah, I don't know what to get there. Yo, you got right, bro. You got right, yeah. Shit looked like I a wet market in that motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't know if I was in. I didn't know if I was in Brooklyn or Wuhan. I didn't. Know. You don't like oxtails, B. You ain't never had an oxtail. No, I had ox, I had um oxtail soup. That's a thing. No, nah, but it gotta listen. It gotta be oxtails from an old Jamaican lady with the fat right here, with the fat <laughs> arms right here, and she gotta be old and. And she's gonna have an attitude. Which and she's like, gonna like, yell at you, right? Yeah, Hurry up and order. What do you want? What do you, you want? want? What do you want? Hurry up! And Hurry up! You, you and, and, and if you ask so, for anything she... extra, like, can I get some extra gravy? She gonna suck her teeth. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you insulting, you insulting you her know food. The food good. <laughs> yeah. You don't need That's no extra. Good, <laughs> All right. I give you, you know enough. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, Deuce. Y'all got an album coming out. Is it an album EP? How many songs? Six songs. Production by. Oh, I played every I played everything. I played the drums, keys, guitar, bass. You know how I do. Everybody I know, everybody that I'm friends with, that I'm real cool. With. I'm not friends with everybody. I know some people. I'm cordial with some people. We holler. I'm friends with everybody on the screen right now. All my friends is about to be world fucking famous. I'm still gonna be a broke nigga. Y'all better not lose my motherfucking number. Nigga, you playing all these fucking instruments and shit? 
Nigga, you might you making a way to get seven different checks. You probably already getting six right now. Don't speak that into existence. First of all, this shit is about to you you about to be famous and making all sorts of money off this shit. Honestly, gonna be like, yeah, take my money and let me sit in a seat. Respect. Let's mean? get rich. Let's get rich. You better not yeah. kick us off when you get rich first. Excuse I, me. Listen, I'm loyal to a fucking fault. Believe that. Yeah, I, don't, I know whose podcast formula you been studying. And I know the other famous ball headed podcast that you just studying on. Don't Joe button us. I don't want to have to go. It'll be new beans and French and. <laughs> No, listen, every argument we have, we can have right on this camera and we can go off. I, I know where all of you live. And work it out. Whatever. We can always, with any problem, that's you know what I'm saying. Any problem we have, we can always, I'm not going to Joe Button the fuck out of nothing out here. Um, we almost at the end of the show because we about to record another one. But look at this. Um, and then, wait, I can change a, my shirt. This, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, and I'm so fucked up. I'm so, yeah, let's say, I'm so fucked up, bees. That's good. CC88 Gallery Space. Okay. CC a gallery space. What is this? Our gallery? Black on our gallery and event space in Williamsburg. You're here. I'll give you, you know what I mean? See all this black art that's on the walls. You're not at home? You at the gallery? I'm at the gallery that I own, man. Would you is that a phone you what you got right now? I'm on the, the Z phone. The phone shit. Come on, bro. Walk us around real quick. Just give us like give us like 35 seconds. Come on now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what's popping. This your space? The space. It's the space. Who did that paint? That that picture. That paint. We. Who did that one behind you? Who did this that? One behind me is Sophia Eddy. Okay. What about the other one on the other wall? On this wall, this is Mark West. It's like a black interpretation of the Last Supper. Oh. Over here, this big one is called Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's another one by Mark West. On the far wall is another Mark West drink. Wait, let me show you one of my favorites. This one I was sitting behind. It's by an artist named Brenda Hayes. It's a uh, black lady, real dope. It's like a woman trapped inside where the stars should be fired. Oh, dope. So, and I'm welcome yeah. at this space, right? I mean, at least, at least there's one place on this planet I can just walk into. I ain't got to go get all access pass. We good on that level, right? I can just show up. Yeah, yeah. you holler. I got you. You know what I mean? We got exclusive drinks. It's 420 friendly in here. You can light one up. You know what I mean? Let your hair down. I knew I wanted to move to Brooklyn. I fucked up. Um, it's every other, every night. You know what I'm saying? There's game night on Wednesdays. It's a vibe. The place is booked up in a cultural hub right here in New York City. I love That's it. what I'm saying. Dude, you do a lot of stuff, bro. I just be chilling though. But like, like I said, like shout out to some of the homies that's been here. Like Smoke Dizzle performed here. Rome came through. Jamal Gasol been here. Bernadette. Um, you know, Miss Sean Price came yes. through and yes. for her and Bro, uh, and if I got if they was all there, I gotta come there and I gotta shoot I gotta shoot a show. Hold on. Show on. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Here. You dropped these names. Do you want them? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. That's dope uh, as hell. I had to. I'm just fucking with you. That's you know, it's life. all love. That shit is fire. I just oh, that's to. respect, though. I mean, and when you look at how many people actually fuck with Deuce. No, I know. He be he be making moves. He, making be on the, he knows I'm just messing making with him. Moves. I fuck with Deuce. Baines, you like the big sister that I never wanted, but I'm glad I got. Oh. You know what I'm saying? We can talk shit to each other all the time. I got you. It's all love over here. I'm proud of you and all the moves you're making. I fucks with this crew. I like this crew right here. Um, uh, so we we, we we did that. And I keep me moving. Beans, before we get off of this show, um, you was at a show. French was there too. L.A., right? Yes. The cloth was there. Shout the math. Shout the rigs. Shout the gates. I mean, shout the mooch. Times change. Illinois. I mean, who I miss? Did I miss anybody? It's like the Wu Tang. Sim. Sim. And you know Linux, me and Mav, we like. Linux Hughes. I'm just talking about the cloth. Well, he was just naming the cloth. Other yeah. than Linux Hughes. Respect to Linux Hughes. Legends of the Empire. Respect. Okay. And who else was there besides? Um, it was the first time New Crack Era was all on the same stage together. So myself, Jay Black, Boo Boo the Prince, and Ito. I love those guys. Um, I also would like to mention. Shout out to Jay that, Black. Shout out to Ito. Yeah. This was monumental to me. 
because fucking Choop was there. And when I tell you that Choop He's a real person just as dope of a person in real life as he is a producer. Oh my God. I was so excited about that. I was so excited. Listen, um, I didn't even know he existed as a real person. I hadn't I never had seen his face until like three weeks ago. He is not a he is a real living person. But the and beats. he is dope. And and you know, it was really dope because the conversation that me and Riggs had when we were rehearsing and all this other stuff is that he was just like Choops beats hit different for live performances. And that is so real. That is so like his beats. It, I could go on for days about what the hell was Mav doing on the real. turntables with you? What was he? What was that? Uh, saw on IG. So that was during sound check. You know what I'm saying? DJ Mav tried to step in and uh, steal my job. So <laughs> He just wanted to give it a little wiki wiki. So you he know did a, he, he, he did a spin. Like he spun around physics, he right? Sure did. Slowest spin I ever saw in my life. And I'm a slow nigga. And his hair, the way his hair twirled, like I'm mad that I can't get my hair to twirl like that when I do my little spins. I love you, Mav. I want to say Mav, I love you too. All of the cloth, man. Most yeah. stand-up individuals, hottest working dudes in this game. When I tell yeah. you the day before the show, we rehearsed till 3 30 in the morning. And with Lennox Hughes. I just want to say he had to be the first performer on this crazy lineup. And it was our first time performing together. So, um, you know, me and me and Lennox, we had our rehearsals and stuff like that. And we do a little thing in the studio where I call it unreleased roulette. And it'll be songs that he's recorded. And I just put him on the spot to see if he remembers his lyrics. So, yo, during the performance, he thought we were going to rehearse the last song. I mean, we were going to uh, perform the last song we rehearsed. And instead, I totally threw him off and I decided to do the unreleased roulette live. So there were four songs that I had. And it was like, I kind of had the one in mind that I wanted to see because when I seen him lay it down in the studio, I just, I was like, damn, I wish this was out. We could end the show with it. So in the back of my mind, I was like, I'm going to get him. Yo, he nailed it. And he got live. Lennox Hughes set the entire tone for the whole night. And we're talking, we had everybody from Big Twins brought Jay Hood. Uh, he brought tons of people with him. Listen, Lennox, it was crazy. I'm so happy and proud for Lennox. He works hard as fuck. Very genuine yeah. dude. Very genuine guy. Stand up individual. And, and, and love to see him accepting the fact that he belonged in a place like that. Because I, listen, I was talking to Linux last year when they, you know, they still, and they still grinding over there. Shout to Mark. They still grinding over there. Yeah. Um, but from where he was at to having that moment and you was there to see it and he had you on the boards, he had Frenchie out there on the sound. Like it's the way the universe works. It's going to happen the way it's supposed to. Shout to Linux you. Shout to Legends of the Empire. Absolutely. Indeed. Indeed. So, um, yeah. um, and, and French, what did you do? I engineered the show. Okay. And so nobody wanted to kill the sound man on this one. Right. That's how we 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 have we do have to thank Flea and them for uh when we when I when I DJ'd for Lord Mob a few weeks back in the same room, uh we made note of the the crazy soundboard man and instantly, you know, when Riggs is like, Who do you suggest? I was like, French. You know what I'm saying? So he came out there, he made sure we were right. Um it was just it was it was it was it was really good. It was just really good. Uh, a Sun Eastwood. I wanna I wanna give him All a right. shout out too. He brought out snacks. Listen, A Sun. That's another one. Oh my God, his energy and his performance. Yo. Listen, Toronto. He, stand so he knows up. Bullet Holes is my favorite. The joint was smooth, right? Yeah. So he told me since he knew I was DJing for him that night. Cause shout out to Finn. I'm, I'm glad you couldn't come out of Canada. You didn't want to because I got to DJ for Ace, but he was like, I got to open with this for Beans. How did, how, did, how did they get into the country? I thought we couldn't go back if... I don't know exactly. I know they were getting strict. I think that's why Ace couldn't stay as long as he originally planned on. I think the restrictions are up there, but they're still being kind of lenient. I can't go there, though. I, their borders are closed. Yeah, I don't think they're letting us in. I don't, I don't know exactly how. Um... I didn't really ask a lot of questions. I was just really happy he was there. 
Yeah, that's he's great to talk to. His his energy is phenomenal. Um, and the dude snacks that he brought out, uh, he's another Rochester cat. Listen, snacks killed it to the point the crowd asked for an encore. Y'all got yeah. chills. Like, do you see that happen? The encore. And he was like, I got one more, don't worry. He shocked the crowd. Like Listen. this this was incredible. And then with that, when we gonna end the show, friends, do you want to end the show for us? You got anything to say just to end it? The a sign off. Well, overall, the show was extra no, dope. That's what I'm asking. I ask for analysis. I ask you to do a sign off. Like, sign off. see you next time, folks. Some shit I don't know. And we out. Salute. <laughs> what the fuck was popping is your boy Mike Powers. <laughs>